Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trader, known as Fijian Traders. This is Mr. Singh. Tesla, ticker symbol TSLA. This one of the stocks is on the red, unfortunately, on my portfolio, which I'm going to discuss it. But what a day on Friday we're going to do as the market closed on Friday and not one of the greatest days of Tesla where we had the low of $174.70 even though Tesla closed on Friday was $175.34. Why is Tesla struggling, right? Before on the technical side, as usual, I will go cover the fundamentals. I always cover the fundamentals. Then we're going to talk about Tesla, uh, about the technical analysis. I'm excited why I am buying this stock and I don't mind having it on red because I'm going to be adding more shares which I'm going to discuss my portfolio as well. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to cover technical fundamentals portfolio and also a couple things is one of cups it's Tesla is a alpha. It's a big dog. So never don't forget that. Never forget that is the alpha on the EV sector and that's why I'm very confident on them and I've seen it. I this is not my first rodeo on trading. This is not my first time in trading in Tesla. I've been tra trading Tesla over 2017. They've been tra trading with Tesla and I'm very familiar with this stock, the good, the bad, how Mr. Alan has and how great this company is. So a uh, little bit about myself before I jump in on the article as you see about Tesla. A 12 year this is my 13 year training and I do do videos we talk about the money that I invested on and I always talk about the good the bad the sad the great everything on the downtrend the uptrend and the technical analysis with the fundamentals so if you're interested in any other stock please check out the other videos that I do on my portfolio and please don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button but before that let's go talk about Tesla so the number top 10 stocks for 2024. Tesla is in the position for itself to compete against the arch rival BYD. And BYD is also an EV company. The company and its stock has been a marginal throughout the late 2024 and in early 2023 as EV dynamic uh, has shifted quickly. Talked about it in my videos such when I do NEO and Tesla which are the two EV that I cover. And it was a shift of sector and now we're going to see slowly it is coming to a, an uptrend and where it's going to be less focused on EV a little bit. And and once it has it, it will be a uptrend. So but nevertheless, uh, the results of Tesla shares is now trade for $200 and 75% so uh, upside. It is trading at 175 right now at the moment as we speak. So let's get back to the idea of competition with BYD and why it matters to the investors. One of the simplest and most powerful reason is believe that Tesla at a point is to release a roadster, which I mentioned in my previous video as well. If you have not, go ahead and check it out. The company recently announced its release on a long delayed uh, roadster. The timing of its announce likely not to be concerned with BYD is recently announced its release of EV supercar in Chinese market. So they're going head to head. We know Alpha Tesla is an Alpha, the big dog on the EV, but the competition is there, right? Competition is big in especially in China. The fans of Tesla invest the defense of Tesla and investors on its stocks hope it awakens something in Elon Musk. Warren Buffett is an investor in BYD and believes that its CEO has is a uh, CEO is uh, Mars Evelgren. Perhaps the Mars famous drive will redirect into Tesla's around of regenerate its firm. The roster announced may be their beginning. So it is in a, a great positive, right? And I think it's Mr. Elon Musk and Tesla company, uh, they are always coming with new vision, new ideas, new growth, and it's keeping the investors sometimes overwhelmed is like man so much development so much thing coming in even though the earnings was not like you know we had that because there was a big price cut in china because china has a biggest ev sector right now you name it they have neo leo byed xpeng and those are the companies are the competitors in china as well um so it is one of the things right chinese ev sales show signs of slowing down According to the data of Chinese Passenger Car Association, EV sales are slowing down. A report citing that stated that sales of battery-powered EVs have increased 18% from January to February compared to 20.8% from last year. 
This is the slow. The, this slowdown has been fueled by its raising competition in China as EV manufacturers trying to spark the demand, offering a deep discounts on their car, on their uh, on their cars. Uh, you know, sailing. So now every company it is trying to make sure their operating cost is low in order to cut down their price because what the only way you can do it is the operating expense and manufacturing costs are low to maintain that tesla can even do both and still be unprofitable for a quarter but they're not going to go bankrupt because they have so much billions of dollars in capital cash sitting so they can drive their price in uh, sometimes the companies does that right they lower their price to have the competitors out or they have make them struggle in order to do that and the price cuts like this you can see a slow uh, slowing signs of slowing down right so but it's very strange right price cuts usually people should be a demand or more but people are still not buying the concept of it also tesla as usual you can as i mentioned i'm still down 12.92 percent i'm about 15,000. my plan is to add another 600 shares and at what point i'm gonna add the shares which i'm gonna talk on the technical side also uh my sleeper stock is added to the plug and uh skywater technology i'm also invested in mara and also neo and even a penny stock that has been doing phenomenal well for me and navda nevda is also a big boomer for me so one of the targets said tesla i'm still down on about 12.92 percent but i'm planning to add more folks i am planning to add another 500 to 600 shares but at the key level which i am going to discuss with that i'm very transparent i keep it when it's green i keep it when it's red and i show you guys how we do and how i do it so friday was not a phenomenal day for tesla but it was expected dow jones was a little bit down as well um over 100 points but on the five day we have this run from 202 dollars all the way to 172 my resistance level was sitting at none other than 173.97 even even went below that actually um and now and then kind of past two days we did have this crossover for our trend but on friday we know what happened 175 34 was a closing right so one month and this is the thing that i want to talk to you guys about this is the one month chart for tesla right and one month we were making higher highs right we made these higher highs all the way from february 6 uh on february on the 6th right and it's it's month in about two days now from 174 we made high of 205 and we got rejected crazy 20 205 dollars and 60 cents you can look at it one two three four and five times we got rejected and guess what the moving average crossover happened at 196 and it came all the way down to the 172 and even though we made the ground up high of 183 but we came back next day right over here and sitting at 175 what are the trends we're looking for tesla it is unfortunately a downtrend why i am saying the downtrend because when you have this cross line the pink line which is my 200 day ema the blue line is my 60 day ema you had this crossover right here guess what we went from 245 even though with the high was 265 the 245 was the confirmation of a downtrend and we came low off right over here at 175 175 right and after that we make the ground right even though we had the uptrend cross crossover because we were trading sideways with the net news and how the ev sector is doing in china and it resulted 199 back again we had this massive crossover you can clearly see that a blue line is down and the pink line is up which is definitely you don't want to see it if you are a bull if you're a bear definitely you want to see that and we came all the way to uh 172 it is going to be a more growing pains coming in right now which i wanted to share with you guys uh so very careful on that MACD, like i said it is on the crossover nothing is showing signs of life but it is a very very dying uh, green sign of life right rsi is still cool off on the middle so nothing to be worried about that side because it can go either way six months as usual like i said i mentioned right when we had this blue line over here and how the moving average why we couldn't break it because it's the big alpha is sitting at 200 now so the 200 dollar mark is going to be very critical because now we can't even break we didn't couldn't break the 205 now it's sitting at 199 right so now 199 these two moving average is going to be the next resistance to break but right now it is a downtrend pattern even though we tested so we tested twice over here so 173.93 was a massive support level that we had and is going to see on that what is the next what's next for tesla if it drops below that right and that is the question that some of you guys have it 
and folks my next one is gonna be 152 right over here 152 and 97 cents where I gonna be adding my shares if it drops to that price I am not gonna invest all 600 of it most likely it will go up to about 200 to 250 shares and then I'm gonna add the rest if it comes below that but that is the magic number that I'm looking at 152 and 97 I know some of you guys do not want to hear that mr. Singh you are a bull why are you saying you always got to have a plan to add your shares if you want to average down like I said Tesla is not my first rodeo I've been trading it on Tesla many times and it is a matter of time how Nevda is trading right now Tesla we used to trade it over there and I won't be surprised we're gonna see a $30 $40 move in a day I've seen a Tesla move a $120 a day folks $120 a day I've seen Tesla move there right so it is just a matter of time with Tesla but you buy the dip and you sell the highest price right and look at this gap down that we had on the ear right here from all the way everything is pointing a downtrend and that's why I'm very keen to see 152 has it volume is great volume predicts price but it is more as a outflow volume like look at on Friday right that we had a massive flow and we came guess what 175 right 175 we came all the way down over here so folks don't get beat up yourself Tesla is a big alpha stock right I am like I said I am very confident with Tesla Mr. Elon Musk how he does his business but this is not the first time I've seen Tesla coming to these moving averages but 152 is going to be the next and the next after that is I'm going to be keeping roughly around you can see it it's about hundred and one dollars you have some other resistance sitting over here at 131 and then 109 so 131 is going to be right here you can clearly see that it was acting as a support and right here 131.07 and then we're gonna have the next one sitting at about roughly about hundred dollars over there so three key levels to keep an eye I'm not gonna make any changes right now because Tesla can come back with the good news and destroy this moving average but on the moving average right now it is a downtrend unfortunately and we gotta be very careful how we trade with Tesla right now but you buy the dip and you sell at the highest price you don't get this uh, discount shares at all the times so well, thank you for watching folks if you have not subscribed Tesla uh, my YouTube channel or anything please go ahead and do that so you don't miss any notification when it comes to Tesla or any other stock that you're interested or or keeping an eye or not sure about it so there's something for you to uh, do your own due diligence not a final advisor just doing my due diligence on fundamentals and my technical analysis and technical analysis do not lie if you know how to read it so thank you for watching it and hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and once again have a great great weekend because Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday is gonna be a roller coaster ride especially with Tesla and it is gonna be going to it's gonna be even a good day or bad day what I'm looking at is it's a downtrend where we have a day of testing hundred and ninety two dollars and then even coming back all the way to 150 as I can see so thank you for watching it hope you guys have a wonderful weekend stay tuned for the next video coming up on Tuesday